All praises, all power, all glory to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahushai, Bahashem Rakaha Kodash. Yahweh being the name of the Father who the world even calls God, Yahweh. Meaning, meaning in the name, Yahweh Shai, who the world even calls Jesus Christ. The name is Yahweh Shai, meaning, He is the deliverer, He saves. Bahashem in the name, or Kaha Kodash, Spirit Holy. Double honors to the apostles and elders of great Muslims who teach well and rule well, who taught me this truth. Peace and salutation to the Akyam, the fellow laborers, the hopeful elect. Preaching this truth at risk of their own lives through the four, throughout the four corners of the earth. To the Akwatim, listen and listen and learn in sincerity and in truth and in silence, Shalom. Akyam meaning brothers, Akwatim meaning sisters, Shalom meaning peace be unto you. It's your brother Shema from the GMS Toronto camp here in Toronto with another lesson. Right, and we'll get right into it. I was uh, watching a video in the in the group chat, and this uh, Amalek rabbi was uh, breaking down this scripture here, Isaiah 40 and 15. And he was saying, uh, the nations are as a drop of a bucket. He was saying the nations are, uh, he's saying the, buck, uh, the, the, the bucket, a full bucket of water is, 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 uh, the J-double-O's. And the drops on the outside of the bucket are uh, other nations, right? But I was reading the comments and um, a lot of clapbacks, and the, the predominant uh, uh, clapback was that, "Oh, this scripture's not talking about that. This scripture's talking about the Lord's magnificent greatness towards all nations." Right. So we're we're just gonna clean it up a little bit. You know what I mean? Isaiah forty. Verse 15, could the Lord Yahweh Shemashah is only dealing with Israelites. Israel being a people before it's a place. So-called indigenous, so-called Latino, so-called Negro, and speckled bird. The elect on this side, two-thirds got to perish. Along with these other nations. Lord willing, we're of that number. The elect, the hopeful elect. Isaiah 40, verse 15. And it reads, Behold, the nations are as a drop of a bucket. Right? The Lord is likening these other nations as to a drop in a bucket. The drop of a bucket. Salakia. Right? The Lord's not dealing with uh, the other nations, man. Right? The Lord, the Lord. Uh, Yasharala is a peculiar treasure. Yasharala, he prints power. Right? They they are a peculiar treasure. Deuteronomy thirty two. Was it Deuteronomy thirty? I probably looked right at it. Deuteronomy 32, verse 8, and it reads, And it reads, When the Most High divided to the nations their inheritance, when he separated the sons of Adam, right, so there's 18 nations, a table of nations, there's 18 nations. There's the Edomites, there's the Ishmaelites, Ammonites, uh, uh, Edomites, Moabites, Right? When he separated the sons of Adam, right, the chosen, he set the bounds of the people according to the number of the children of Israel. For the Lord's portion is his people. Jacob, the Israelites, 
is the lot of his inheritance, right? So the Lord, the Lord's chosen, right? Are the sons of uh, are the sons of Jacob? Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, the twelve tribes, sons of Adam. Adam begat Seth, first Abel, then Abel was slow, s slew by Cain. Seth came back. Right, Seth was the the, the constellation for the for, for 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 Abel. Right through Seth, you had uh, 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 comes Noah. Noah's three sons. Right, Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, Jacob's twelve. Right, the Lord's only dealing with uh a chosen people, man. Amos three verse two. You only have I known of all the families of the earth. Right, Israel, Israel being a people before it's a place. Therefore, I will punish you for all your iniquities, right? The the Israelites are under the law. The Israelites are under the curses. Right? These, are the, these other nations could do what they want all day, every day, man. Right? The Lord has his people to a higher standard. Back in Isaiah 40, verse 15, once again, Behold, the nations are as a drop of a bucket and are counted as a small dust of the balance, right? Balance being a scale, weights. Right, the small little uh, residue on a scale. That's what the Lord, the Lord is likening these other nations to, man. Behold, He taketh up the isles as a very little thing, and Lebanon is not sufficient to burn, nor the beast thereof sufficient for a burnt offering. Right, and during these times, the law of sacrifice was still around. Right, so the Lord was saying, I don't even want to sacrifice from uh, the, the, these other nations, man. I won't accept it. The, 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 I'm not dealing with them. Right. Today, the, the it's a living sacrifice, right? And the Lord is not going to accept a living sacrifice from any and anybody, right? It's only going to be from 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 Israelites, His elect on this side. Romans twelve verse one, I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of power, that ye present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto power. Which is your reasonable service, right? And what is the living sacrifice today? The the the, the, uh, the, the, the preaching this word, this gospel, giving up giving up our lives in the world, and 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 putting this truth first, man. Hearing this call and being sealed, hearing this call, hearing receiving this receiving this truth, this word, and a, and, and 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 putting a hand to the plow. That's a living sacrifice, man. This truth comes first. Right? In the ancient world, right, this is the, the, the Lord was dealing with with, 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 with uh, the law of sacrifice. Our Lord came, Yahweh Shai. Right? He was a sacrificial lamb. Right? Today, let's look at this word. Let's look at this. You see, beasts. If you are, matter of fact, let me just get it. Precepts are firing in my head. Ecclesiastes 3, verse 18. And it reads, I said in my heart concerning the state of the sons of men, that power might manifest them. And that they might see that they themselves are beasts, right? So, <laughs> Lord is saying right here, there's time. You have to know when you're reading in context. Is beast talking about men? Are there nations men? Or is it talking about beasts, beasts? Right? So, the Lord is not going to receive a burnt offering, a sweet savor from no other nation, man. From men, from men of other nations. The Lord's dealing with the Israelites. This scripture is talking about the Israelites and the other nations. He's letting you know that he's not dealing with none of these other nations. They are as nothing. They're insignificant. They're small dust on the on, on the scale. 
verse 17 all nations before him are as nothing right and that's how these bugger christians that's why in the com in the comment section of what that rabbi was saying they're all saying no it's talking about the lord's magnificence to the nations because bugger christians don't want to hear that they, they they're reputed as nothing right bugger christians want to say no nah, that listen uh jacob received it and jacob didn't want it so the lord opened it up to everybody that's nonsense man scriptures say uh uh The Lord changed not. The Lord's dealing with, his, with, with the Israelites. Malachi 3 verse 6. For I am the Lord, Yahweh, I change not. Right? The Lord's not changing. He's the same Lord then, the same Lord now. Right? He's just not, he's just not in Allah Shadya mode right now. The time is going to come where the whole world is going to realize and understand that a higher power is doing this. Is doing all the calamities that are coming on the, on the earth. A higher power is doing it. Right, Yahweh Ba Shem Yahushai. The, the, these other nations are gonna understand and realize, yo, that power of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, he's the real deal. Therefore, ye sons of Jacob are not consumed. Where were we? Isaiah 40 and 17. All nations before him are as nothing, and they are counted to him less than nothing. And vanity, vanity means empty. The Lord don't business about Moabites and Edomites, especially Edomites. The Lord don't business about Ishmael and Ammon and 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 and, and Cush. The Lord don't business about none of these nations. Let's get a scripture. Um, Psalms 47. Psalms 147. Nothing too long. Just wanted to clear that up, you know? Clean it up. These bug outs. And the family words coming, man. You know what I mean? The time is going to come where whatever lot you're in when this thing shuts down, that's it, man. That's the lot you're in. Right? If, you're, if, if, you're, if, 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 if you haven't accepted this word, Isaiah is like, you haven't accepted this word and you continue to... Uh, Resist and buck up. <clears throat> Salakia. That's your lot, man. You're going to be destroyed. Psalms, 40, Psalms 147, verse 19. He showeth his word unto Jacob. Right, the Lord gave these, these law, statutes, and commandments unto Jacob. Jacob later became Israel. Israel being a people before it's a place. Israel, the Hebrew word for Israel is Yasharala. Yah, he, shar, prince, Allah, power. He, Prince Power, Princes of the Power, the Sons of God. Before the flood, they were known as the Sons of God, the Sons of Adam, the Sons of God. His statutes and his judgments unto Israel, right? The Lord is only dealing, though the Lord gave it to Israel. Right? Deuteronomy 4. And our Lord coming back, Yahweh Shai coming and dying, was was our way back in the good graces of the Lord Yahweh Shai. Otherwise, it would be a it would be a perpetual loop of captivity after captivity after captivity, and just under these curses, man. Right? Because the Lord is, the the Lord sending the the Lord the Lord is sending His Son Yahweh Shai to come and deliver His elect, lay wasted His place. Right? Redeem his elect. Put the laws in their inward parts. Give them the new bodies. Lord willing, we're of that number. And then come down and judge and 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 and, and put Esau, Esau's nobles, I I into chains. Deuteronomy 4, verse 5. Behold, I have taught you statutes and judgments. Right? Israelites. Even as the Lord Yahweh my power commanded me that ye should do so in the land whither ye go to possess it. Keep therefore and do them. Do what? These laws, statutes, commandments. Keep therefore and do them. For this is your wisdom and your understanding in the sight of the nations. Right? All nations. Right? Coming out of the land of Egypt. Coming out of that captivity under Moses. Right? The wisdom. And the understanding in the sight of the nation. All nations knew that the Lord, Yahweh Shemashai, was dealing with those people over there, man. 
which shall hear all these statutes and say, surely this great nation is a wise and understanding people. Right. In the ancient world, they were coming out of Egypt, all nations knew the Lord dealing with those people. Right? That's what it means. He showeth his word unto Jacob. His statutes and his judgments unto Israel. Psalm 147 verse 20. He hath not dealt so with any nation. The Lord hasn't dealt so with no nation. None. So you have to know. First of all, you have to know who this book is to and who it's for. And then, re and then know what context you're reading these things in. These scriptures in. You have to know who the book is for. The book is not for everybody. Psalms 147 verse 20. He hath not dealt so with any nation. And as for his judgments, they have not known them. Praise ye the Lord, Yahweh. Right? The Lord's not dealing with these other nations, man. Right? They're dropping the bucket, man. Second Ezra 6, verse 54, and it reads, And after these, Adam also, whom thou madest Lord of all thy creatures, Matter of fact, let's read verse 53. Second Ezra 6, verse 53. Upon the sixth day thou gavest commandment unto the earth that before, that before thee it should bring forth beasts, cattle, and creeping things. Right? Uh, the creation. And after these, Adam also, whom thou madest Lord of all thy creatures. Right? Adam was the first king of the earth, the first height, the first priest. Of him come we all, and the people also whom thou hast chosen. Right, the chosen comes through Adam. Right, Adam, Seth, uh, Enos. Right. Right. I ah uh, ah. Uh, uh. Abraham, Isaac, Jacob. Right? The chosen come through Adam. Right? Noah had three sons. Shem, Ham, Japheth. The chosen comes through Shem. Right? You go into the book of Genesis, it, it shows you the lineage. Right? You look in the generations of Yahweh Shai. Matthew, the first chapter, it gives you all the generations going right back to Adam. Right? King David, King Solomon, Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, lineage, generations, right? Seed. Verse 55, all this I have spoken, all this have I spoken before thee, O Lord, because thou madest the world for our sakes, right? The world was made for whose sakes? The Israelites. But we fell, beginning with our forefather, Adam. As for the other people, which also come of Adam, right? These other nations. Thou hast said that they are nothing, right? The Lord is not dealing with them, man. But be like unto spittle, right? We could close the book right here, man. The Lord is likening the other nations as nothing and as spittle. And as liken the abundance of them unto a drop that falleth from a vessel. Right? So the Lord. The Lord. I pray you're edified. You know what I mean? The Lord is not dealing with. Um, the scripture not. This scripture doesn't mean uh, the Lord's great magnificence over the nations. All right, the ra the ra the rabbi in the in the in the, in the video he, he he had an idea, but he he doesn't know he doesn't know who he's talking about. Him saying the 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 water is the 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 bucket is 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 the J double O's and and the drops on the outside of the bucket are the other nations. He doesn't know who he's talking about. And if he does and if he does know who he's talking about, he, he's using sleight of hand. But you have to use scriptures to prove, you know, precept upon precept. Right, but yeah, that's it on that, man. Not too long. I pray you're edified. Call Allah Yahweh.
Bahashem Yahashai, Bahashem Rakaha Kodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of great Muslims who teach one to rule well. Shalom to the old elect.